Human gender roles have an origin way before we ever started debating if they're inherently sexist. Long before anyone ever codified them into some complex social order. And long before anyone ever tried to use them as a justification for oppressing either sex. Human gender roles are not rooted in social structure or in society. At least not the basic human gender roles. The basis of human gender roles has a biological base. And that base is babies. Yes, you heard me right. The reason behind the basics of human gender roles goes back to babies. It's been with us since we've ever been. It is that women, their bodies are built for taking care of babies. They literally grow them within them. Come on, that's pretty impressive. Us men, all we can do is create small little packets of genes. And we have a little bit of a strength advantage. Not by much, actually, though. But there is a big difference. Women grow babies within them. Their bodies are designed to carry babies while the baby's growing within them and while the baby's without. Also, they produce food for the baby that is specifically formulated for the baby. Human breast milk is perfectly formulated for the child. Unlike goat milk or sheep milk or cow milk, which would be formulated for those animals and not for a human baby. Anyway, for thousands of years before we ever had those domesticated, we still had babies. Babies have always been with us. They needed food. Through the Paleolithic times, there were two foods for babies. Human breast milk and berries. So, you better have those nearby. So, our ancestors specialized in labor. That the rules that women could do while taking care of babies and raising the children, they did. While the rules that would be more difficult for them to do, they could have still done it, but it would be more difficult. The men specialized in, as they did not have that pre-natured specialized role. So we ended up with the women staying at camp, gathering in resources from the surrounding area, foraging, which most likely they brought in more calories of food through their foraging than the men ever did through their hunting. And also producing the clothing and cooking the food that was brought back, while also producing baskets and other material, all those different tasks that they could do while being interrupted but having to feed or take care of the baby or raising children, the women did, while the men went and gathered protein through hunting and gathered other resources that would have been difficult to do while carrying a child or might have been dangerous to do while being pregnant as like hunting a dangerous animal would be rather risky while being pregnant. You were risking yourself and the child add on that generally your physical abilities are lessened at that time as you're having to carry that extra weight of a child. That's also the reason why men went into defense or protecting the tribes as they were the ones freed up to do that task as they did not have to carry a child within them, leaving them open more time to practice defending and also giving them more freedom of movement to do so. This leads to the basics of human gender roles. As women would stay at the camp, they would have taken care of the rambunctious and troublesome children, requiring a calm and controlled and thoughtful attitude. This would have allowed them to make sure the children learned and did not get in trouble, while also helping them to refrain from killing their own children or the children of their fellow tribe members. Now in contrast, the men who would be out hunting or going to a dangerous train to find where their next campsite would be would require a assertive attitude, one that would act quickly in situations. This would require instantaneous responses. As the assertive hunter brings home the game, the non-assertive doesn't bring home anything and no one wants to be with them as they are not helpful. 
And also, when they would pack up and move to the next campsite, as in most cases, the men who were out hunting would have been the ones to find where that next campsite would have been and would have known the dangers along the way. The men would have taken charge in traveling to that next campsite, warning their wives of the dangers that would come ahead. Now, this situation that arose up from travel and from the women staying home at camp to take care of the children might have led to that later development of women being viewed as more submissive and men as more assertive. That coming from that calmer nature needed for taking care of the children at home and that more assertive and aggressive nature needed while hunting or while traveling to dangerous terrain. Now as we go down through history past that, with the development of agriculture, originally with farming, women did the farming, the planting, the sowing, and the reaping, as they could easily carry a baby with them, poke a hole in the ground, and drop some seeds. But then, someone, most likely a man, thought it was a great idea to domesticate this big cattle to create livestock and use them to pull a plow. I'm imagining, I'm imagining that it was probably some man's like, no, I can make farming easier on my wife. I can domesticate the animal and have it plow the fields for her. And then he brought it to his wife's like, look, this animal can plow the fields for you. And then she's like, I don't really want to have to deal with that animal or holding a baby. I got a great idea. I'm already cooking for you. I'm already making you more pants because you keep on ripping your pants. I'm already raising the children and stuff. How about you plow the field? And thus, men started plowing the field with those animals that they domesticated. Now, the women still often helped with the harvesting and planting, but then the men were plowing. Also, in these more settled societies around these farming societies, trade rose up and became more and more prominent. Now, trade would have still been existent during the Paleolithic times, but everyone was moving about. Now, when we get to these settled times, you would need to travel more for your trade, as your people you're trading with aren't coming to you. You have to go to them. So, to do so, one would need more mobility. As the women would have been taking care of the children and doing those works at home, that led to men traveling more for trade. Due to that travel for trade, it led to men becoming more focused in the political and mercantile aspects of society, along with the early focus in militaristic aspects of society and heavy resource gathering. This would eventually develop into those very heavily stratified gender roles we see in later societies, and even into the oppressive use of gender roles, where some tried to use it as a means of justifying oppression of one sex or the other, or viewing one sex or the other as less. But not all use them in that way. And gender roles in themselves are not inherent to that. As their origin is a genetic thing, a biological thing, that is simply, which one is better at taking care of babies? Like and subscribe.